Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug and I have another fountain pen video for you today. Uh, this is a special one because uh, it is for a friend. Uh, it is my friend's birthday uh, and I'm going to release this video on the day so he doesn't get this surprise in advance. But about a year ago on his birthday, I was searching for a, a fountain pen for him because he's a fountain pen geek. He's a fountain pen writer. So his father was a fountain pen writer. He's a fountain pen writer. And uh, he has written with fountain pens for as long as I've known him. On birthdays and Christmas and so forth, I always look for some kind of a fountain pen gift to give him. Um, he always appreciates whatever you give him. So I started looking for something that would be worthy of a man that has a lot of really nice fountain pens. And so that's when I went down the rabbit hole on the internet of fountain pens and inexpensive Chinese fountain pens. The first one I purchased was through a Facebook uh, ad, sponsored ad, for something called Too Shiny For You. Some of you might know about that, um, but they sell uh, inexpensive Jinhao pens that you can get for four and five dollars US. They sell them well, they, they say they're free. You can get them for free with only $12.95 U.S. shipping. Well, I thought that was great. Um, there was a deal on to get two, and so I got two um, Jinhao X450s. And here's the pen right here. So I got this pen. I got one for me and one for my wife, and I thought, well, um, if they turn out to be nice, that's great. We got them very cheap. Um, if they turn out to be crap, well, it's only a few bucks that you've lost. Uh, I was so impressed that I started using it quite a lot, and I started looking for others. And then there was the X750, and then there was the 159. And I thought, well, this pen, when I found out that they were actually only $6 or $5, I can't give them a $5 pen, that's insulting. So here we are a year later, and I'm going to give him for his birthday this $6, $5 Jinhao pen. I have kept it for the whole year. I have used it quite a bit. I've swapped nibs on it. I've never done a review on it. So I thought, well, before I give it away, I should probably review it. So here it is, the X450 from Jinhao, right now. <laughs> Okay, here we are back at my desk with the Jinhao X450. Now, I purchased this, gee, a year ago, just about a year ago, um, on eBay, and it cost, uh, what I think, what it costs now, and it cost $4.98 US with free shipping. Um, it is a good looking pen. It has the classic cigar shape. Uh, and this one, it comes in a number of colors. I'll put up uh, uh, the eBay listing here to show you all the colors it comes in. Um, so it has a, a cap of finial, a uh, cigar shaped finial with a gold band holding the clip. The clip has three dots on it and this sort of ski jump kind of clip. Uh, it's very, very stiff. Then there is a gold band which says Jinhao on one side and X450 on the other and that's engraved into that cap. Um, then the body tapers down to another cigar shaped cap at the end um, with a gold band right there and the pen is fairly hefty so it isn't plastic it is I think it's brass the body is brass and it's covered with a an enamel lacquer of some sort uh, automotive paint type thing uh, again as I said a very good looking pen it comes in a number of different finishes um, it is a snap cap and it clicks very securely and when that comes off you'll see the section and the section on the X450 has these divots in it um, 
I would assume that's for uh, novice fountain pen writers to keep their grip. But uh, a lot of people like that. Uh, they like the, uh, the triangular grip, like on a Safari or an All-Star. Um, that's one of the things I don't like about this pen so much. But it is a barrel-shaped grip with these three indents uh, to give you direction. Uh, there's a gold band there at the end of the section and a gold band that steps up with a ring towards the nib. Now, this is not the original nib. As I mentioned in the intro, I've swapped nibs on this pen a number of times. This is one of my favorite Bobby Bent nibs. You've heard this many times if you've been on my channel. And it's in fine, but it's a mini Fude Bobby Bent nib. And because it's a standard number six, there's the plastic feed that came with the Jinhao. This standard number six nib fits in this pen beautifully. And I've had a number of them. I've had the Moon Man a number six nib in this pen. I've had the Jin Hao, of course. I've had a number of Jin Hao's in there. Um, and you can put, if you can find a number six stub, things like that, you can put that in there. So it's a pen that allows you to do a lot of experimentation. I have a couple, actually three, of the Jin Hao 159s, and I bought a, a Zebra or Zebra G flex nib uh, in number six size that will fit in this pen and will fit in the 159 as well. I'm going to put it in my 159. There is another model. Uh, I bought a couple of the other models, and that's the uh, X750. And the 750 is a little bit bigger. I did a, a, a review of the X750 that I bought for my daughter, and I'll put uh, that link right up there. The pen does post. Um, I tend to really screw it on there when I post it because it isn't that secure, but it does back weight the pen. Uh, quite severely, um, and but it it's possible. You can post it. I will write with it like this. When you write with it like this, it's plenty long enough in the hand and fairly comfortable. I was talking about the X750. It has just this same kind of section, but without those three little indents. So it's just a barrel-shaped tapering section which is very, very nice. Actually, I was thinking of getting myself um, another X750. Uh, the X750 isn't cigar-shaped like this one. It's more barrel-shaped with rounded ends. So the other thing about this pen is that, and this is a, another good thing for a good utilitarian pen, it takes standard international cartridges, which is what I have in it right now. It does come with a converter, and this is the Jin Hao converter, and it is branded Jin Hao, like other Jin Hao's are, and that is the standard opening for a standard international cartridge. My friend um, uses cartridges 90% of the time. He finds them easier to work with than these fiddly uh, little converters. So uh, when I look for a pen for him, I make sure that it has the standard international cartridge. This one, I took a standard cartridge and I filled it with, um, I believe it's, uh, yeah, it's a Roshizuku Asagao in here. I'm going to do some measurements on this pen and some size comparisons, and then I'm gonna come back with a writing sample. So this is the Jin Hao X450. This is a fine bobby nib, bobby bent nib. This is very wet. 
very smooth. So let's do some writing. So very smooth, very wet. The feed keeps up. Let's see if it reverse writes. So you're getting a very fine line there. And it actually writes very nicely in reverse. Most other nibs don't do that. And there's that line. I would say, again, like all the other mini food days I have, it's between a fine and a medium in terms of thickness. So, um, and it's also very stiff. You're not going to get any line variation, but it writes smooth in all directions. Let's see about some fast writing. Keeps up very, very well. Again, a very utilitarian, functional fountain pen. So let's look at doing some evaluation on this pen. And again, my categories are design and build, writing and feel, the overall look, and the overall value of the pen. Each category is out of four, with four being perfect, three being above average, two being a pass, and one being a fail, with zero being a complete washout, no show. Okay, so in terms of design and build, in terms of build, this is a well put together, hefty pen. As you saw from the weights that I put up earlier, uh, it is substantial in the hand. Um, if you like light pens, this one's not for you. In terms of the design of it, I don't like the fact that it doesn't post. It does post, but you really have to crank that on there for it to stay. Now, the good news about that is that this enamel is very, very hard. It's not like plastic. It doesn't scratch. I've had this for a year. There's not a mark on it. This is hard like an automotive surface. Shown you that there is a cap liner there, so the pen does stay actually very, very uh, airtight. There are a couple of things in terms of design I don't like. I don't like the fact that you really have to screw that cap on there to make it post. And I don't like the triangular part of the section. The X. So I'm going to ding it a point for the section, which I don't like, and the way it posts, which I don't like. Um, but everything else, very, very solid pen. Uh, you get the feeling that it's built like a tank, and you could drive over this and it wouldn't break. So, writing and feel. Now, the, I have to put a caveat on this one, of course, because this isn't the original nib. With this nib in it, it's a much superior writing experience in my estimation, but I'm going to sort of remember how the Jin Hao nib feels um, and how the pen feels in my hand with that funky section. Uh, so I'm going to give it a three here, too, because it... It's not the most comfortable pen, but it is certainly a, um, serviceable. In terms of look, I think it looks great, uh, but it, um, it looks like uh, it is an inexpensive pen. So I'm going to give it a three in terms of looks. Uh, another reason I give it a three is that clip isn't that good looking. I think it's uh, a little bit ugly. So I'm going to give it a 3 for look, and I'm going to give it a 4 for value, because this pen 
is $4.98 U.S. Get out of town. This is the bargain of the century. You can buy a ton of these and fiddle around with them. That's the value of the X450. And I think my friend is going to like writing with this pen regardless of what its cost is. We have 13 out of 16, which isn't bad for a $4 pen, I think. So, there we have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell uh, so you'll get notified of a new video whenever it's posted. And that just leaves me to say thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.